spring is in the air it's a lovely reminder of how beautiful change can truly be hello my creative friends it's asba here with another floral tutorial you know i just love painting flowers so today i'm gonna be painting lavender wreath stick around until the end of this video so let me tell you quickly about the art supplies Guys, if you want to master wet on wet technique, then go with this cold press watercolor sheet. It's acid and chlorine free and I highly recommend it for the beginners. And throughout the video, I'm gonna be using this pointed tip paint brush. For mixing colors, I'm using this saucer and we need some clear water. And here is my watercolor palette. It has beautiful 24 shades and it's really cheap. Anyone can afford it. Let's start off with the wreath. I'm sketching a sort of rough oval shape with pencil so that it turns out in a good shape. Next, I'm gonna be sketching a small oval inside this big oval. It's a helpful hack for the strugglers who find difficult to get the shape right in the end. These ovals are gonna guide me while painting and I don't gotta stress out for the shape. Don't put pressure on the pencil, just go with the light hand. Guys, before starting with the paint, I'm gonna be erasing bit by bit because it doesn't look good when pencil lines see through paint. Brush the eraser dust off. You know, I'm really excited today. Why don't you just pause the video and grab your art supplies and then join me? And here I go, I'm mixing some purple with water, just playing around with consistency, I'm gonna be keeping it watery. And be careful, don't grab too much paint on the brush. Hey, just hang on, let me zoom in. You can see how I'm stippling with the very tip of the paintbrush. Just remember. Top is gonna be kind of pointy and I'm just dabbing the paintbrush to get the small strokes and you can see these strokes look like tiny little paddles. While coming down stippling just keep repeating the patterns. I'm starting with another one and gonna follow the same technique. I'm not taking more paint to complete this one because I wanna give kind of dark to light effect. And look how delicate it looks. There goes the third one in outward direction. And I'm following a sort of pattern here. I mean some lavenders I'll be painting inward and some outwards. Keep on stippling till you get a nice one. And don't overdo it. I'm trying to keep it natural. You know, watercoloring works like a meditation to calm my mind and soul. You must give it a try, maybe it works for you too. Guys, if you're not confident to straight away paint, I mean you're scared that you'll end up wasting your sheet. First you can practice and then you can go with the wreath. In this one, I have mixed some dark pink to give it a sort of pinkish tone. And guys, don't aim at perfection. In the beginning, you may make some mistakes but keep practicing then surely you're gonna get hang of it just observe i'm just playing around with the composition and consistency of colors And here goes the last lavender of my wreath. And look guys, all of them are on fleek. It's time for greenery. I'm mixing some dark green, light green and some yellow with water. And it'll add kind of charm to it. Now with the very tip of the paintbrush, start making stems. Work with the light hand, don't press it too hard on the sheet. Otherwise, you'll end up getting thick strokes. I'm branching out stems and connecting them with lavenders and with one another. I'm asking to keep the stems thinner because when you're gonna add leaves to it, it'll all get messed up. 
In the first layer, I'm keeping leaves and stems pretty translucent and light. In the next layer, I'll add details to it and kind of highlight it. So your paint should be watery to get this effect. Be patient and go slow, you know that, hurry spoils curry. You can watch what I'm actually doing here to form leaves, just drag the paintbrush smoothly and in 2 or 3 strokes, you'll get a good shape. But don't overdo it. I advise you be a bit careful with this watery paint, as you don't have much control on it. I'm filling this negative space but keep your leaves and stems thinner to avoid making your wreath overcrowded. And guys, those two ovals that I drawn ahead of time are literally helping me right now in controlling the shape of it. Now let's get adding details to greenery. I'm using this rich green and mix in some brown in it along with water. I gotta keep it darker to highlight the leaves and stems. Watch it keenly guys what I'm exactly doing here, let me zoom in. I'm kind of sweeping my paintbrush, you don't gotta fully paint while highlighting. I'm just making broken strokes over the stems and leaves not covering them fully with paint. This dark green has really created a lively contrast. And just remember, go with a fine tip brush to add details to any kind of painting project. This is the last step. I have taken some dark brown and I'm branching out some tiny little stems. These brown stems have incorporated perfectly with the wreath. You know, water coloring is literally relaxing and I never get tired or bored doing it. You also give it a try and don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Just look up in the right corner, they are my Instagram accounts. I'll also add the direct links of my accounts in the description box. I love this sort of botanical art. It's really not difficult. Even beginners can totally do it. Well, I'm done with it. And it looks really chic when placed inside the frame and gives spring vibes. I'm gonna write some quote on it. And this is how you can create beautiful online art. Hope you had fun, thanks for watching and consider subscribing my channel. See you next time, take care, toodles.